Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by. So we're jumping right into the video today. I'm showing you how to make my sausage egg casserole. So right now I'm just pouring some uh, reduced fat sausage into the pan and we're gonna brown that up. I tripled this recipe, so I used three rolls of sausage, but for just one recipe, you would only use one roll. Um, and of course I'll put the full recipe in the description box below so you don't have to worry about any of that. So I had to crack 18 eggs for this recipe because it calls for six. And actually, it's an interesting story. This recipe came from my home ec class when I was in high school back in 2000. And uh, I brought it home and made it for my parents because I thought it was so delicious. And my mom hated it. She's just not into that kind of thing but my stepdad liked it and uh, anyway I thought it was so good and I put it in a church cookbook and forgot about it and then just a few months ago I was trying to find this recipe and I actually wound up making a different version of it because I could not find my recipe and then finally I found it tucked in this church cookbook so that was pretty cool to find so I just blended up the eggs poured in some milk salt and some dry mustard this recipe is really customizable. You could use any kind of eggs you wanted. You could throw in peppers if you wanted to. You could use sausage. You could try bacon even. Um, you could put in different kinds of cheese, different kinds of bread in it. You could really do whatever you want with it. And I have to tell you, it was really easy to triple this recipe too. Um, and we ate one of them last night, which you'll see in a bit. And the rest of them are in the freezer for me to have later. I like tiny little pieces of sausage. I don't like big hunks. So I just chop, chop, chop while I'm cooking it. And then once it's browned, you'll move it to a plate covered with paper towels to let it drain for a little bit. So here I am getting my pans ready with all the bread in it. You just cut the bread up into cubes and then place it in the pans. Um, I used that blue stoneware dish. That's Temptations from QVC. I actually got that nine years ago uh, for a wedding gift. Um, I froze it for the first time. It says you can, but I was pretty skeptical about it. It actually froze really well. So this part's pretty easy. You just pour in the sausage, then you sprinkle cheese over top, pour in the egg mixture, and you're done. If you're gonna eat it next day, you need to put it in the refrigerator overnight. It's best to let it sit for 24 hours um, just to kind of soak everything in there before you cook it. But if you're gonna freeze it, just make sure it's cooled completely and stick it straight in the freezer. I will note that I did make sure my sausage was cooled completely before I started assembling this since I knew I was gonna put it in the freezer. I didn't want the bread to get soggy. And then once you're ready to cook it from the freezer. I just took it out, put it in the refrigerator overnight and kind of let it thaw. But with that Temptations cookware, it does say you can go straight to the oven from the freezer. You just heat up the casserole while the oven's heating up, if that makes sense. Like while the oven is preheating, the casserole should be in there as well so it's not a shock to the pan. And there it is, hot out of the oven. It was so delicious. So this comes out to 430 calories per serving with 40 grams of protein. And this is a two and a half quart dish. I made four servings out of this, so you can tell they're pretty big and you saw how big those aluminum pans are. So the ways I made this lower calorie was to use low calorie bread, um, reduced fat sausage, skim milk, and low calorie uh, shredded cheese. Um, you could serve this by itself, which we normally do, or you could add hash browns, you could do fruit, or even a salad with some fruit in it to kind of add um, sweet to the savory. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.